This video shows you how to record and upload a video using PowerPoint. These instructions are for PC. Mac users, I don't recommend this process for you, but talk to an LTC as there are other great options that we can show you. OK, into PowerPoint now, and as a first step, you may need to add the recording menu to your PowerPoint ribbon. To do this, click on File, and then right down the bottom here, click on Options. In the pop-up window, click on Customize Ribbon. In the main tabs list on the right, scroll down until you see Recording. Then click to tick that box and click OK. Now you have a recording menu in your PowerPoint ribbon. Go ahead and click into it. This Record Slideshow button is the one you will use to record your video. Select one of these options, then click into the PowerPoint Recording Studio. Click into Settings and select your microphone and camera. Now, even though my webcam camera has a tick next to it, I'm going to click to select it and do the same with my microphone. Once the camera is on, your thumbnail should pop up in the corner. If you don't want a thumbnail in your video, just click on this camera button to turn it off. But do consider being brave and leaving it in, because students love to see your face, especially when they're studying online. This Notes button brings up the Notes panel from your slide, so if you would like some prompts, you can create them before you come into the recording studio. Use these buttons to make the text bigger and smaller. This isn't visible on your recording. OK, I'm going to hit the Record button now. Notice that my slide changed. This is because I have animations on the slide. If you don't have animations, this arrow will advance to your next slide. Notice also that you have a pen selection here, which is great for drawing attention to what you're talking about, or for annotating if you have a tablet and pen. One of the nice features of this tool is this clear button. Note that when you click on it, you have the option to clear the recordings on all slides, or just on the current slide. This means that if you record nine slides perfectly, and then fluff the tenth, you don't have to start all over again. Just clear the current slide and hit record again. Once you've recorded your slides, just close the recording studio by clicking on this X. Back in PowerPoint in the recording menu, you have two options for creating your video. Export to video and publish to stream. Export to video saves your video as an MP4 file on your local computer drive. You can upload an MP4 straight into a Blackboard site, but it's not a good idea to do too many, as they tend to be large files. This is why we usually put the video on a server, like YouTube, and create a link to your course. The Publish to Stream button is a great option, because it takes this step out and uploads your video to Stream, which is a secure video server just for Griffith staff and students. A Stream video channel links really nicely into Blackboard and Teams. Let's go ahead now and click on that Publish to Stream button. Give your video a title and a description if you like. Only tick this box if you want your video to be viewable by anyone at Griffith. You also have the option here to upload your slides. Once you click the Publish button, you will see a progress bar at the bottom of your slide. Wait for this process to finish, and when you see the message that your upload has succeeded, you can close your PowerPoint and go check out your video on Stream. Stream will send you an email with a link to your video, and you can also find Stream by clicking into your Microsoft App Launcher through the waffle menu in your Griffith email. For more information on Stream and how to share your videos with students effectively, click on these links and contact your LTC team.